Hey everybody, this is Saber, and I'm here to tell you about our latest update for StarMade. We've changed up how inventories work in this update, so you'll need to start storing more of your materials on your ships, stations, and planets. This brings us to today's main feature, cargo. Storage blocks will continue to behave the same, but with some additional functionality. Storage and inventory now have an overall capacity with unlimited slots. Each item's needed space in the inventory is represented by its volume, which defaults to mass. This can be changed in the block config if needed. Because of this sudden change, penalties for being over capacity are turned off by default in the server config. These penalties will be switched on by default in future updates. A player whose inventory is over capacity will move more slowly and a ship which is over capacity will leak items out of storage over time. In order to increase your storage capacity, add cargo area blocks and connect them to your storage with the C and V keys. Cargo area blocks are non-physical and invisible as long as they are empty, but they will fill up as items are added to storage. Keep in mind that items in storage now also add mass to your ship. However, they will add less mass while in storage than if they were built on the ship. Cargo can now be transferred from or to docked entities. Just connect your docker and rail to the storage blocks on either entity, activate pull on one of the storage blocks, and if the other storage is deactivated, it will transfer the contents over. You can now also dock to rails by physically touching them with your docker block. After undocking, you're unable to redock to that same rail for 5 seconds. Redocking will likely be switched to a distance rather than time limit in the future. A new color has also been added to our palette. Teal is now here. It comes as hull, armor, crystal armor, lights, and light rods. There have been slight tweaks to other hull colors as well. We've also implemented a new optimization for planets which should add some FPS for you after the planet is loaded in. That's all for this update. Thanks for watching and as always, thanks for playing StarMade.